The city is giving people in Boston more time to use a program for solarizing their homes. Homeowners can save money on their energy bills, but every home takes the city one step closer to its goal for reducing carbon emissions. To tell us about the program is our guest from Renew Boston, the community outreach manager, Lourdes Lopez. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Lourdes. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Chris. So what kind of money do people save by doing this to, let's say, a fairly normal single-family home? A person can save uh, close to about 20% on their um, energy bills uh, when, when the person does go solar. So it's a you know, significant amount of money that they're going to be saving, but it's um, you know, taking that step to you know, look into solar and having the, the panels installed. What has been uh, the progress so far? I mean, I know you're, you're still trying to build more and more people to take part in this program, but I guess there seems to be a little reluctance out there as well, maybe. One of the factors, Chris, that an individual doesn't go solar is because they have lack of information. And it's for that sole purpose uh, that we have the, the community workshops um, in each of the Boston neighborhoods uh, continuously. We also had three different uh, solar open houses in the towns of Dorchester, Roxbury, and South Boston, so that person that is skeptical can come in, speak to an, uh, an actual person that uh, uh, install the solar panels to inquire about what their experience has been and, and most importantly how much their savings has been so uh, so we use you know we use those methods to you know get the word about and you have one coming up in East Boston too right yeah we have we have an event tomorrow a combined Reno Boston and solar event tomorrow at the uh, East Boston YMCA so and, and, and this will be in English and in Spanish too. actually three languages we're including English Spanish and Portuguese so we really go out of the way to uh, bring the message to the uh, you know, Boston residents so that they understand what the pro programs entail. So the way this works, you, you put uh, the panels on the roof and mm -hmm. uh, they generate energy and I guess a lot of that, maybe most of it, would be used right inside the house on something. Yeah, once the, uh, the panels absorb the, the sunlight, it goes into an inverter and then that actually converts the, uh, the solar, solar uh, power into electricity and then it goes into the load of, of the home and primarily during the day the panels produce uh, the, the, the solar power and so you'll be using most of the, uh, the electricity in the evening. You know, it costs some money to have these put in so uh, wh where do you get to the point where you, you've, you've recaptured what it costs yeah, you to put them it's in? It's definitely an investment. Uh, that's you know without, without a doubt. Um, but we do have Next Step Living. They're, they're the qualified contractors and they're the ones that actually uh, are able to provide these affordable options for a person to go solar. Uh, you can get your investment back in about five years, but it, it is an investment that's worth it. And of course, after you've gotten the investment back, it's still saving money on, on energy. And I guess if you ever decide to sell someday, you can say, well, we've got these things in the roof and they'll, they'll save you some money. Absolutely, because it actually, the solar panels actually increase the, uh, the, uh, the value of your home. So, uh, uh, and you can lock in a very affordable rate for like 25 years. So that's a win-win situation. So explain how uh, this works, because I guess uh, before uh, you, know, you had to either get some aid or, or uh, cash up front, but I got, now you can get some financing and get Yeah, the in. difference from the program this year is that uh, you can still purchase the system, but you can actually finance it through a, uh, a qualified bank through Next Step Living. So you do have that option of uh, financing the system, just as you do a, a car payment or, or a loan, and, uh, and you can get your solar panels on. So what's the cost generally for this about? It all depends on the size of the panels. Uh, for an example, uh, a home that's five kilowatt um, in capacity, it might cost maybe seventeen thousand. Just for an example, for you know a moderate uh, single home, and uh, but be, you know by the time you get your federal rebates, your state rebates, you might be paying like ten thousand. But that's just a rough estimate to give you an idea. Right. Uh, I, I guess uh, the other thing you, you have to think of here is. Um, which houses are suitable for this? Because it depends on the direction of the house or the rooftop. Yeah, uh, primarily it's for single family homes. We also uh, cater to uh, two families. And, but the most important factor, Chris, is that the roof has to be south facing. It could go due east or due west, but uh, it has to be a south facing roof with uh, no shading. And, and it could be a frame or it could be a flat roof and you'd still be able to find some way to make it work? Yes, this, this year we also added uh, the, uh, uh, the installation of solar panels on flat roofs, which we didn't have last year. So, um, you know, the technology is, you know, changing and it's getting better for and accommodating for the residents. Well, we should mention uh, two things here. Uh, first of all, a reminder again about that meeting in East Boston, when and where that's going to be happening? Yes, the workshop is being held tomorrow at the YMCA at 10 o'clock uh, on Bremen Street.
And if anyone else wants to get in touch and get more information about uh, Solarize Boston? Yeah, folks can call 617-532-5999, and that's going to ring into uh, the offices of Next Step Living. Uh, and advisor is going to talk to them and figure out, uh, determine if the house is a good site for solar. And so those are the very easy steps to, to do. Thank you very much for being with us. Great. You're from, welcome. From a new Boston, Lourdes Lopez.